Hey guys, it's Phase One once again with another video. Today we finally got the reveal of the RSI Arastra um, during the RSI day um, in the 2023 IAE. And um, so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go through some of the new details that they're going to unveil here. And then we'll get into some of the reasons why it will be worthwhile picking this up. Okay, so without any further ado, let's just get straight into it. So it says RSI Arastra Deep Space Mining Platform. It says, Mining we find, tackle the biggest job in the furthest reaches of the galaxy with RSI flagship Deep Space Mining Rig. Large scale operation that would traditionally require a vast multi ship fleet, managing troublesome freelancers. And and dealing with government intervention can now be easily handled by a skeleton crew and one ship. Providing the crew is skilled and the ship is an Arastra. A completely self-contained mining platform with a habitation for five, three independent industrial mining turrets, an onboard refinery and stoic defense capabilities and more. The Arastra lets you take on massive operations however remote interesting 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 okay so it has it's a big ship so they're even classifying this as a flagship which is really cool um the fact that uh it has habitation for the five crew that's a really big ship right three independent industrial mining turrets and an onboard refinery and some decent dis defense all right, so let's get into it. It says mobile citadel home away from home. It says the Arastra's expensive accommodation and onboard infrastructure allows your crew to work a job as long as they have to, no matter how large or remote. The massive vessel comfortably accommodates five human crew, several ground vehicles, and an entire self-contained mining operation. Okay, so, and it says, uh, take on gargantuan jobs, mining on a massive scale. It says, a trio of remotely operated railed mounted mining turrets allow for flexibility in your setup. So, all three turrets are actually on rails. The one at the, the midsection here can swap from the top to the bottom. So, this will be very beneficial when you're on a surface. Um... You don't you won't need to actually tilt the arastra down to mine a rock on the surface but the two fronts will be able to get to it as well as the bottom one the top one can swing to the bottom and then also operate on that same rock so this is very very versatile okay so it says divide and conquer three separate jobs at once or focus your efforts to take on truly in truly enormous endeavors that can that even corporate mining fleets would find daunting interesting so yes like i anticipated this is this thing is going to be able to take on large massive asteroids you know so it seems like in the future they are going to be added the big rocks that the orion is going to be able to handle the actual asteroids so this is going to be an introductory an introduction to that type of mining gameplay um taking on massive rocks so i anticipate these are probably like size three lasers or size four lasers they're considering them large lasers so that's going to be a lot of power um for you to actually take on these bigger rocks so that's really interesting so so it says fully self-sufficient full-scale onboard refinery no need for no need to ship off raw ore for processing the arrestras on board refinery puts many dedicated facilities to shame capable of processing massive quantities of raw ore quickly and efficiently with minimal intervention from the crew eliminate the profit killing rigor more of dealing with greedy third party and then let the arrestra do the work so this is one of the huge benefits of having a roster you don't have to deal with um shipping it off you don't have to deal with um losing profits from using a, a facility like a, a station to refine your your ore so uh, it's it's a it's a good plus here so it says here 
explore. So it says there is a vehicle bay. So it says, okay, let's start from here, okay? So mining turrets, it says three independent operated uh, size three. Yes, size three mining turrets remotely controlled from the safety of your ship. So this is what sets this thing apart from the um, the mold, the Argo mold. So it depends on the, 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 the kind of flavor you like with mining, right? Do you like to be out there physically? You know, some people like that kind of stuff, you know, but this one is remote turret. So you don't need to be out there in the danger of uh, the terrain or dealing with uh, the environment. You can sit safely inside of the ship while you operate the turret. So that's one of the uh, differences there. Okay, so weapon. So an array of 12 missiles can be deployed as a defensive measure should you find yourself in a dire situation so that's good it says refinery full scale onboard refinery process raw ore into saleable material on the spot so this is one of the huge plus of the ships for it to refine its own and essentially make all of that money just being out on that field okay external cargo all right so it says move up to 512 SCU of refined material via external storage racks. That is awesome. The fact that you don't have to worry about storing these things on the inside of the ship, but a total of 512 of store of cargo of refined material. That is awesome. You're looking at like almost the size of a C2. Not a C2, but a C, a A2 maybe comparable to an A2 cargo space, that's a lot for a, a, a vehicle that's out there mining constantly. You know, that is, that's pretty cool. So what you'll need in this case is, you'll need to be able to detach these cargo boxes to have another hauler. If you wanna keep this thing out on the field and constantly making money, you'll need cargo ships to come and pick up these pods from it. Um this way it can stay out on the field and const and just keep making money okay so that's really interesting it says cargo hold so now this is the internal cargo it says sizable interior hold boast an impressive 64 seu of cargo room so one of the things that i'm curious about is is this same cargo room the same ones that you will need to hold your vehicle okay so um with the future of star citizen there's going to be you're going to need to actually keep physical objects on your ship like your your inventory is going to be physicalized so you're going to need to use some of this actually to hold your physical items whether it's your weapons or food and those kinds of things you're going to need some a few boxes um secured on the inside um, for just sustainability and, and security and um, even when engineering gameplay comes in you know components you know fuses and stuff like that you're going to have to physically keep them somewhere right so this gives you a little bit of room there to operate with. And tractor beam. One of the things I didn't know that this thing had was a tractor beam. So it says industrial grade tractor beam uh, makes even the nastiest job simple, clean work. That is awesome. The fact that this thing comes with a tractor beam. So that means this, this, is, this thing is going to have probably a size three tractor beam. Because I think the ones that we have right now, even on a C1, I think it's a size two. Uh, I think that the C1 has a size 2, so this is probably going to be a size 3 tractor beam. The fact that they grade it as an industrial grade tractor beam, okay? And then vehicle bay. Okay, so the vehicle bay is separate from the... Oh, that's nice. So you don't even need to sacrifice your cargo hold to store vehicles. You have a separate bay for vehicles. That's awesome. So it says sizable hold that can accommodate multiple ground vehicles. So another... Um, aspect that adds to the versatility of this ship is you have um space to store um argo rocs so that you can have or you can also do argo roc mining as well on the ground while this thing still operates on large rocks okay so all right so let's look at some of the screenshots i think we've already seen these ones already yeah these are the ones that we've seen um during the uh isc episode i think this is my first time seeing this one the inter the uh the bridge itself so that's that's pretty cool so two seats here 
And then the mining turrets, I guess one, two. And I think there might be another one because it's three mining turrets. Unless this guy's. No, I think you though I think there's gonna be another mining turret. Um see here. So we'll have to see. Alright, so when it comes to the specs, right? It says you have three remote lasers, one tractor beam. You're looking at an onboard refinery. Um, so vehicle bay, you have it holds two small vehicles. So that those are your our goal. Um, your great cat um, ROCs has a crew of five, 64 SCU of internal space and 512 SCU. That's massive of external space. And then you have for defense, you have three size three remote turrets holding four size three guns. Okay, okay. I thought it was. I thought one of them was five and the other ones were three. So that's interesting. So four size three turrets. No, no, three size, three size three remote turrets with four size three guns on each. That's interesting. Okay. All right. So, and then we're looking at the prices. The war bond price here is 512 US and 575 store credit. Okay. So now, so why should you buy the RSI or Astro? So, if you want to, if you're looking into getting into mining, right you're looking into get into mining large scale mining you have a group of guys that you enjoy mining with or you're in an organization and you have a mining division like us phase one industry so that's my org if you're interested our discord is in the description down below and you have a lot a, a sizable crew you know you're going to be going long range to find certain rocks and you're not looking for the small rocks that the um that the uh, prospector or the bow handles but you're looking for the massive ones that potentially even the orion will be looking at right so then you would need an arastra you know you're going into deep space you're going far away from civilization you're going to need an arastra you know you're going to be out there for a long time maybe a few weeks maybe a few months maybe you're gonna need this thing because this thing has everything you'll need to survive out there for a long period of time okay so you have a livable space for five people you have the vehicle bay for your vehicles in case you do run into a situation where you you're finding even genolite out there let's say you you, you find a planet out there that has uh genolite even just laying on the surface that's that's a lot of money right so you can't miss out an opportunity to mine that so you have space for argo rocs and these are even the rock ds's because look so these are the big rocs okay you could drop them on the surface and just get them to mine while the arastra is out there also mining the larger rocks as well so um so th that's another reason why you would want this thing okay right taking on the big rocks uh is going to be a thing and um you're going to need this if you don't want to go all the way up to the orion this is going to be that ship that sits right in that position between the moat and the orion so um the um and also the fact that it has that cargo space, right? It has that extra cargo space is going to be um, massively beneficial to support those long range mining operations, right? Also, the fact that it has the refinery, onboard refinery is going to be a huge bonus, a huge bonus allowing you to actually not need too many other vehicles uh to support you because there will be other options in terms of mining operations there's going to be mining operations that's going to consist of um, prospectors and moles and then your refinery vehicle is going to be their mixed expanse um, out there on the field so you have multiple vehicles that you need to be uh be accountable for and in addition to that also haulers that will come to the expanse pick up and go to go sell right but you can do all of that with this one ship 
all self-sustained with your crew on the inside, safe and secure, right? But in an operation with prospectors and moles, you're, you're gonna be limited by range as well. This is going to have long range, long, long, long range. All right, so yeah, so these are the reason, reasons why you should get an Arastra if it's within the price point that you're interested in, or even if you wanna get it in game, okay? You don't need to buy this, but if you want to, if all those, if if this thing checks all those boxes that I just mentioned, if that's what you're looking for, those are great reasons to pick up this ship, whether it's uh, getting it through here or getting it through game, in-game means, you know, so you guys let me know in the comments down below your thoughts. Are you going to pick this thing up? Are you going to get this now or are you going to get this during the uh when it's actually live in the game through in-game means just to let you guys know my organization phase one industries is now recruiting the new and veteran players if you're interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like don't forget to subscribe i'll see you on the next video